good morning. So we're out to walk in. And I have a job interview today at noon. It's like 8.30 right now in the morning. All right, so I'm ready for my interview and this is what I'm wearing. So this is White Horse by Caitlin Hunter. And I know I made modifications to mine, but I can't really remember what I did. I think it was supposed to be long sleeve and I made it short sleeve. And then I made the body longer because at the time whenever I made it, that was like what was in style. But I'm looking for socks really quick. I did like an extreme side part because this mock neck just made me feel like that was super cute. So my interview starts in like 15 minutes. I'm really excited about this interview. Basically the lady, it, she's pretty well known person actually i'm not gonna say who she is because it's none of y'all's business <laughs> but here i'll be right back fairby i'm gonna go grab my computer um but she's actually pretty well known and she's somebody that i feel like our values align with one another so i think this could be really really good and it's not the interview is not with her of course it's with somebody on her team gotta get my yoga blocks for my computer. Y'all, I don't use my yoga blocks for my computer all the time, only whenever I'm doing a job interview <laughs> because I need to be up at my face. So I feel like this could be really, really good and I'm really excited about talking to this person. I'm trying to get my camera set up to where it's not at a really bad angle from my face. Oh my gosh, all right. So I had to change my profile picture and stuff off of our off of our it's being fair with zoom of course because we use it together for like most everything but the other day whenever i did an interview i forgot to change my picture and i forgot to change my name and so it was like jen and Fairby, check us out on youtube <laughs> and like i don't want that obviously for a job interview i mean i don't care if somebody does check us out on youtube but like i don't want that to be like the first impression i make of myself to a job you know what i mean it's not professional in other words is what i'm saying and i prop my computer up on yoga blocks so it's tall enough because obviously like this is not the angle anyone needs to see me at for a first impression anyway like honestly i'm so comfortable with you guys here on youtube like i don't obviously i i have really bad angles all the time here but first impressions mean a lot i just feel really comfortable on my youtube channel and i feel like i'm there being real and like you know it's not a first impression it's my life where a job interview is a first impression that sounds bad that sounds like i don't try on youtube but you know what i'm saying you get it. Like, this is my life. Like, I'm unfiltered here. We're in a job interview. You kind of want to put your best foot forward, like, and then let them get to know you rather than show up like this, like you don't know how to use it, <laughs> especially since it's an online job. Um, so anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the job interview room and maybe they'll be there. I'm excited. So I think that went really, really good. And seriously, guys, right at the end, like as I was telling her goodbye, <laughs> whoa, Fairby barked once. I don't know what I was Oh yeah, okay, so my battery started dying on my headset, like in the middle of the end of the conversation. Like I was telling her, you know, have a happy Thanksgiving and all the things that you say whenever it's Thanksgiving week. My headset started to die and I couldn't hear what she said because it said battery very low, please charge now. So I, you know, that was kind of upsetting a little bit, but it went really good. Um, the rate of pay seems to be along the lines of what I need. They didn't tell me an exact amount. They just had me name my amount. But anyway, I think it went good. Fairby barked once. My hair is trying to separate right here, which is fine. And I'm super glad that I did my hair like this too, because her hair was like this. So I don't know why that matters, but I like it whenever I show up to something and I'm like similarly uh, looking as the person that's interviewing me. So anyway, um, I'm going to actually change sweaters and I'm gonna take Fairby out. And really, I love this sweater. And I do wanna show you guys this sweatshirt, really, or this sweatshirt really quick. It's just really pretty. And it's like super flattering. I feel like, like, I like this length of sleeves a lot. I'm really hyper, obviously, today. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's gross outside. So I, um, want to take Fairby out, but I don't want to wear like a pretty much light pink sweater to get muddy because it's going to be muddy probably. <sighs> but I think that went really good. So I'm super, super, super excited about that. Like, I think it went really good, really, really well. Like really well. The lady I just did my interview with, she said that they were going to let people know probably Tuesday of next week like if they were moving forward or 
not or whatever. So hopefully, so I won't know anything in this day, obviously. All right, anyways, so I'll be back at some point in the not too distant future. Go over there, watch it, comment, talk to me. I'm gonna be in the comments to talk to you guys. Wow, ball potty play. All right, we're gonna go ball potty play really quick. <laughs> I do that to get the dust and whatever off of her. So like anytime we play out, even if it's dry out, it doesn't matter. Like I come in and do that. I wanna show you what, what I'm working on for knitting really quick. I'm making a scrappy cowl. And this is what I have so far. And the pattern is Land of Sweets by Helen Stewart. I think it was her knit vent for 2017, I think. I don't have a date on the paper. Anyway, I think it was knit vent for 20, 17. I made one and I made it in pastel colors and I did it exactly how the pattern called for. It was released as like advent. You would get a clue like every day for a certain amount of time and then you would knit that section that day and the next day another clue would come out. So whenever I did it, I did it as the pattern called for and it was super fun and I loved it. But what I'm doing with this one is I'm trying my best to do each section like with a collar like you're supposed to, but um, I'm not being so like hard on myself if I can't because my goal is to use up scraps because I have just a bunch of scraps and some stuff like you see right here I only had enough to do like two rounds which is totally fine but I wanted something kind of darker colors like this because a lot of my stuff that I knit is really light colors because that's what I gravitate towards but I feel like this would be really useful. I'm really excited to do this because I like the first one that I have. Also I wanted to talk to you guys and let you know what I'm gonna have for Thanksgiving because I feel like vegan Thanksgiving is probably something people don't know really about. So keep in mind, it's just me. And used to, whenever I was married, I used to kind of throw down for Thanksgiving a lot more. This is something I always make every year. So I take a uh, spice cake and I mix it with a can of pumpkin and I make pumpkin bread. It's kind of like a mix between a pumpkin cake. I don't know, it's kind of like a pumpkin cake kind of thing, but I don't frost it or anything. I just put it in a loaf pan and mix these two together. It's basically a drop cake and it's awesome. I got these and that way I can just cook one little portion and that's it. And it comes with gravy, but I'm probably gonna make my own gravy because I have stuff to make gravy. So I'll probably just make my own gravy. I just cook a little portion and then I put the rest of it in a Ziploc bag and save it. I got green beans. I've actually gone ahead and started having some green beans um, and just cooking them off as I feel so led. I actually bake them like and make them kind of like green bean fries almost, if that makes sense, but then I put seasoning on them. And so that's really good. stuff that I've just shown you like you can pretty much cook just like one like serving of it or you know a little bit you don't have to cook the whole entire package and that way you don't have to have Thanksgiving punishment for like 10 days after well with the exception of the cake like the cake you kind of have to do the whole thing but I'm down to have some unhealthy uh cake stuff for a few days that's fine with me you don't need coffee the temperature has dropped like so much. So we're gonna go ahead and go for a walk really quick before it gets any colder. I actually remembered to end the vlog on the same day I vlogged. I'm so proud of myself. I hope that you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving and we will see you on Monday with a new video. Bye guys.